And on to news from Zimbabwe now. That's where President Emerson Munangagwa says the country's upcoming polls should honor Morgan Changirai's lifelong struggle for free, fair, credible, and non-violent elections. Munangagwa also says that the government will work with the family to give the former prime minister a fitting farewell. In the meantime, our SABC News reporter, Ntankwana Ngatani, spoke to the Changirai family who are currently on their way to Zimbabwe to prepare for the funeral proceedings for the late MDCT leader and former Prime Minister Morgan Changirai. Well, good afternoon and welcome. Good afternoon and welcome. We come to you live from the OR Tambo International Airport where the Changarai family are getting ready to repatriate his remains back home where a funeral service will be held on Monday, but there will be another service again on Sunday. But to talk to us are the members of the family. Um, tell us what's going to happen from here. Um, from here we're leaving for Harare on the 14.50 flight, so um, we will land approximately around about 1,700 hours. And uh, with me is the family members, as you can see. And just to say to everybody, thank you very much. I think this is most of now the most difficult time. We've been very strong all the way, but now I think we're getting to a point where it's now beginning to hit home. But I'm just appealing to everybody to say, look, let's all join hands for this hero, um, regardless of our political differences, can we all join hands and I ask for church elders and the leaders to just remember us in their prayers because this is not going to be an easy time for all of us and the nation at large. And once again, I thank the president of the country and the government for all their assistance and what they continue to do. And again, I continue to appeal for more help and uh, in particular, I'm now appealing to the government once again once again for medical health facilities to be put in Bohera because already we're hearing people have started painting in Bohera so we just need more toilets and more medical facilities so if we can appeal to the president, the minister of health if they can assist us, we would really appreciate that. I think we will appreciate an introduction of the family if you can. Well, to my left is Magogo. This is uh, the former Prime Minister's mother, uh, who's been by his bedside through these difficult times. And to the last minute, we were all there by his bedside to the last breath he took. And uh, she called him, and he opened his eyes. And she called him again, say, Morgan. And he says, mm -hmm. And for her, she's got closure to that. And then he just slipped off very well, and to my right is um, his, uh, one of his advisors, and uh, next to him is um, the brother who comes after um, Morgan Chandrai, and directly here to my left, in the red dress, is his sister, and of course we've got um, um, from the MDC party, um, Sister Kosa Mkupi, who is here with us for just assistance, and we've also got members of the embassy that are also here to see us off, and some children that are here as well, so the children are here with us. I'm still waiting for the ones that are still to fly from other different parts of the world to join us. So we're still trying to put things together. So, um, and to the South African government, so we cannot thank the South African government enough as well. It's the host country of the hospital where he's last where he spent his last moments. And uh, of course to the media, we're also very grateful because the message is quite across and uh, help has started coming in. So we continue to appeal for that. And for the people at home, we're coming, your hero is coming, your friend is coming, your father is coming, the son is coming. We're coming to be with you. We're now bringing him home to get him to his final resting place, which will be on Tuesday. And um, thank you very much. And just a run through, we understand that there will be, uh, he'll be lying in state and home tomorrow. What are the rest of the services that we expect to happen in Harare? Well, I haven't got all the details yet, but I'm sure they have planned all sorts of things. So we'll update you as we get close to home and find out what exactly they've got in place. But uh, we have a lot of uh, activities that are already going around in the country. Yeah. Well, there you have it. This is the Changarai family getting ready to go back home to Zimbabwe, where we understand their funeral service will be held on Tuesday. But there will be other activities, including his lying in state and memorial services that will be held both in Harare and in Buhera, where he will be laid to rest finally. It's back to you in studio. And thanks once again to our reporter there, Ntakwana Ngatani, reporting from the OR Tambo in Johannesburg as the Morgan Changirai family prepares to repatriate the body 
of the late MDC leader.